Okay, so I'm reading My Little Sister Ate One Hair, and it is by Bill Grossman. Okay, so this is going to be repetitive, so if you want to repeat the ending, go ahead. So my little sister ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up everywhere, but she didn't. My little sister ate two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. <laughs> My little sister ate four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants. She ate two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. <laughs> My little sister ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate six mice, then spit them out and ate them twice. She ate five bats, four shrews, three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes, she ate one ant. We thought she'd throw up then and there. But she didn't. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice, five bats, four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one ant. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. She ate those worms with all their germs. She captured seven polywogs. She ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice. She ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw them in there, but she didn't. My little sister ate nine lizards. She ate their heads and legs and gizzards. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. And seven polywogs, six mice, she spit them out and ate them twice. <coughs> Five bats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes. And of course she ate one hair. So she grew up then and there, but she didn't. Who over there has their least favorite vegetable that they want to share with us? It's okay. How about you go up to the laptop? Oh, wait. Up there, ready. My least favorite vegetable is the dreaded broccoli. Probably most of you. Okay. 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 Yep, you can go up, go up to the laptop so they can see your face. Tell them your name. My name is Mackenzie, and my least favorite vegetable is broccoli. So, at least we got some people who don't like broccoli. What else? Go ahead. My name's Devin. My least favorite vegetable is up, 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 up. Back on the carpet. I'll let you know if you can go over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everybody else, sit down. You can go. Go ahead. 
Right, one, more. Oh, one more. Go ahead. Nope. Somebody's already going over. Everybody else sit down. My name is Asian. My least favorite vegetable is cucumber. Those are things. I'm not one more. Oh, my, me? Or here. You go ahead. You go. Yep, we got one more coming over. Can you guys say hi? Hi! hi. So, we are going to read you, there was a lady who swallowed a fly. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that. She swallowed a cat. She swallowed a cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. She went whole hog to swallow the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed the cow. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> there was an old lady who swallowed a horse. She died, of course. It was the last horse. I'm filled with remorse. What's left to say? Well, miss her dearly. She missed out on the sauce. She had no time to floss. It is such a loss. Even the artist is crying. Can you guys say thank you? Thank you. Why is he We are going to read the book Home for a Bunny. There are different characters and animals in this. So if we say an animal, can you ask them out for us? So if we say a rabbit, then hop around with a rabbit. Second graders, so remember not to get too crazy. Spring, 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 sang the frog. Spring, said the groundhog. Burst out, the flowers burst out, and the robins burst out as 
Just tap in your spots. Tap in your spots. All right, let's be still so we can hear what's next. Where is your home? He asked the robin. Here, 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 sang the robin. Here in this nest is my home. Here, 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 sang the little robin, who were all about to fall out of the nest. Here is our home. Not for me, said the bunny. I would fall out of the nest. I would fall on the ground. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, now be still again. So the All right, sounds Now this 
neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who would have right mind to build a house out of straw? So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, I fell right in. Whoa. I didn't just want to walk into someone else's house, so I called. Little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without a cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. You can all sneeze when, her, when she sneezes. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed. And I sneezed a great sneeze. Grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mashed dragon tongue pudding? No, Perch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Perhaps a taste of boiled black buzzard feet? That always made her mouth water. No, not today. Today, Perch wanted, some, wanted something truly tasty, something really yummy, something special. That could only mean... Piggy Pie! Yes, yes, Piggy Pie. I can take those 
Rich put the broomstick in gear and head over the river and through the woods to McDonald's farm. I got you in my sight now, you little fortress. She cackled as she circled overhead. Rich leaned in for a thump, thump, urge. Landing, she spoke her. Sanders still smoking tootsies and looked at her goblets. There wasn't a pig in sight. Where'd they all go? Rich shouted to a duck. Hey, duck! I said. Where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. Quack, 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 no piggies. Quack. What do you mean, no piggies? I just saw a castle of piggies down here not a minute ago. Hand over the cogs, you little quacker. A piggy's quack. She pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of those evil spells. The duck was not pressed. Wasn't even scared. Gave Grinch another quack and walked away. So, who needs a dumb duck? Grinch mumbled. Being careful where she stepped, Gritch wandered across the meadow. Woo-hoo! He shouted. Oh, you, Gritch said to the cow. Where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. Whoa, 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 no piggies. Whoa. What do you mean, no piggies, you lucky looking cow? I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. Fork over the fork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies. Rich pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Rich, swat a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Cows, who needs them? Rich muttered. So she tried the barnyard where she stopped the chicken in his trap. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. Cluck, 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 no piggies, cluck. What do you mean, no piggies, said the drumstick. Chris screeched, what's going on here? Where is the boss of the seat ahead? Chicken flapped the wing toward over the top. Rich looked him over once, twice. You're on McDonald's, he said. You don't look much like the picture, do you? Farmer 
bumped his suspenders in the churro. Yeah. Shortly, I think Black Black Sierra moved the bear and fucked up there all over the place in this farm. I need eight more piggies for my piggy pie. Where are the piggies? The farmer looked here, he looked there, or here he looked, there he looked, everywhere he looked. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies? <coughs> Benny, you must have piggies. Her older hair, she stomped her feet. She even threatened him with one of her most evil spells. Piggies. Her stomach growled and grumbled. There were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to do? You know what the pigs? said Greg, trying to wolf. Mm-hmm. You're tricky, trust me. I've been chasing three little pigs for days. I'm starving, look at me, I'm nothing but skin and bones. Gritch pinched his arm. Oh, white, she grinned. <coughs> Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. I was thinking, since you haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten, why don't you come over for lunch? I'm ready to go. But it does sound tempting. As he looked at Gritch and smacked his lips. Are you sure it wouldn't be any problem? Problem? Gritch grinned. No problem at all, she says. They walked off arm in arm. I always enjoy having a wolf for lunch. The end.